Every year, millions of people take the AccuPlacer test before starting college to determine the readiness for college courses. Are you one of them? Hi, I'm Asif from Test Prep Online, and in this video, I'm going to share some important information with you about the AccuPlacer test and help you prepare for it effectively. Let's get started. Let's start with a few general facts about the AccuPlacer. Number one, achieving the right score in the AccuPlacer can exempt you from taking basic courses in college. Number two, the current version of the test is called Next Generation AccuPlacer. Number three, the AccuPlacer is a computer-based test with no time limit. Number four, the test is adaptive, which means that when the student answers a question correctly, the next question will be harder and vice versa. Number five, all of the questions are multiple choice, except for the essay. The AccuPlacer is made up of five sections and an essay. Each one of these sections is designed to test you in either math or English. Let's dive into each of the AccuPlacer sections. The reading section consists of 20 questions and tests your ability to comprehend various types of texts. This section tests you in four main areas, information and ideas, rhetoric, synthesis, and vocabulary. The reading section is divided into three parts. The first part presents a literary passage, followed by four corresponding questions. The second part consists of two related informational passages, followed by four questions. Make sure to read both passages, as you will be required to make connections between them in two of the questions. The third part consists of 10 shorter passages, each followed by a single question, as well as two sentence completion questions. If you struggle with long passages, consider starting from the third part, as it makes up more than half of the reading section. Next is the writing section, in which you will find five passages. You must answer five questions for each passage, which challenge you to improve the writing in that passage. The writing section is meant to assess you in two areas, expression of ideas and English conventions. Expression of ideas questions test your ability to write clearly and properly. In some questions, you will need to revise sentences, while in others, you will be asked to add information to the text to support a claim presented in it. English conventions questions ask you to fix technical errors in grammar and punctuation. Here are two example questions to give you a taste of the writing section. Pause the video and try them yourself. Moving on to the arithmetic section, your knowledge will be tested with 20 questions involving operations with whole numbers, fractions, decimals, percentages, and number comparisons and equivalents. To score high on this section, it is crucial to remember order of operations, master the estimation and rounding, and be able to convert between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Here are examples of typical arithmetic questions. Pause the video and try to answer them. The next section is called Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, and it contains 20 questions. This section tests your knowledge in various mathematic topics, such as exponents, probability, geometry, and more. Here are two typical questions to give you a taste of this section. Pause the video and try to answer them. The next section is Advanced Algebra and Functions, and it contains 20 questions. This section is very diverse as well, and it tests knowledge of advanced math concepts, such as functions and trigonometry. Make sure you master the arithmetic and quantitative reasoning sections first, as they are the basis for the material of this section. Here are two typical questions you may want to try. Pause the video and try to answer them. We've now reached the essay, also known as the right placer. Here, you will need to write a short essay in response to a prompt. For example, you may be asked to explain why a certain dish is your favorite one, or to argue for or against the inclusion of poetry in school studies. Your essay will be evaluated in part based on your ability to organize information clearly and to develop and support your ideas. The AccuPlacer is a challenging test so you will need to properly prepare for it. Reviewing questions that mimic the AccuPlacer is an effective way to do so. We welcome you to check our AccuPlacer preparation package on Test Prep Online. We provide comprehensive study guides, AccuPlacer practice tests, 
quizzes, and most importantly, detailed explanations to all practice questions. Using our AccuPlacer prep materials will help you master the necessary knowledge to succeed on the test. I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment if you have any questions or if you want to contribute anything to your fellow applicants taking the test. Good luck on your upcoming AccuPlacer exam.